Hallelujah. 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 God. Come on. Hallelujah. We thank God. you, Lord God. Let's give the Lord God a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Bless you, Lord God. Bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Gift from God Worship Center. We're here yes. at 24 Colonia Downs Place in Alberta, Virginia. We want to let you know that we're here on Fridays at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 1 p.m. And you can use your donations and send those over to us to continue to support our ministry at Dollar Sign GFG Bible Conference. Again, that's Dollar Sign GFG Bible Conference. Also, you can watch our videos on the YouTube page gift from god postcard ministry again that's gift from god postcard ministry we give thanks praise and honor to our lord and our savior jesus christ on this day this is the day that the lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it and we are thankful for all that has come out today to fellowship with us and if there's anyone that has anything on their heart mind soul spirit that they would like to share with us at this time, you may do so. Thank you, Lord God. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You
in the name of Jesus. I thank you for continuing to lead God and direct me, God, in all my ways that you, God, keep my spirits lifted up. No matter what I go through, no matter what comes my way, I thank you, God, that I know that you are my Alpha and my Omega. In the name of Jesus. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The Alpha and the Omega. The Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. The last. Bless the most high. Bless the Lord. Would there be another? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yeah, that ought to lift somebody's spirit right there. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Bring joy to your heart. Amen. I just want to thank God for leading me this way. All right, bless the Lord. We're not having Sunday through the day, so I thank God. I really do thank him because last Sunday, the last Sunday, I gave it before the last Sunday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so the Lord told me today I didn't make it the last Sunday, so I asked him to show me the way this morning. By listening to you, Praise I God. thank God for you gave the word to me while I was thinking that I've been praying and asking me, because I don't even know myself what God has for me. And I thank him for showing me the way because I always ask him to help me and so this prayer is to ask him to show me the way because I don't even know which way to go myself and I ask God to show me the way today because I didn't way. know which way to go I want to go to church but I we don't have it service today and so he showed me the way here that I love my family like so I, wish I love my family. I love you too. Lord. My memories are all. That's right. So he it's showed me the family. way, and I am thankful. <laughs> and, yeah. and he showed me the way. Praise the Lord. So I glimpsed my path over there. The moment that I've been here, and I'm thankful. I am thankful. I really am thankful. Praise the Lord. It's been a blow to you and the family, too. Thank you. I love you. Love my nephew. Amen. And my niece. And my great niece over there. <laughs> and my family, I love all of my family, my people. And I'm trying to hang in there. I can't say by my ways and my doing. I'm trying to get along with everybody. And I love my heart, my heart, the way my heart is. Amen. And I Christ. can go to myself, to myself. I can go to myself and I thank God for that. I can go to myself. When he said, get from my mom, then the wise. I can get from my faithful. I really right. am thankful. I cry and they do it in my house, but I cry more when I go to talking and try to get it out. Because I am so thankful he plays on my heart. God is. Praise the Spirit is. And I, the Spirit is leaving me. I ask him to leave me the way, but I don't know myself. And I think about God, he the one showing me the way. And I talk to him all the time. Mm -hmm. so I don't Praise know what I do if I didn't have to talk to him. That's right. That's right. I can't argue with him. I can get along with God. Bye, God. <laughs> you are amazing, man. <laughs> you are amazing. Holy Ghost. Oh, my God. My spirit. He's a witch. That's right. I'm so thankful. Yes, God. To God be the glory. I'm about to fall. My God. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. I ain't got a crown on nobody's shoulder. It's your shoulder. 
That's and you got to have nobody to grab it. But I, I don't say, but everybody, I'm going to talk about it. I can say, see in the God, and see you holding me over my God. Amen. 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 Praise God. I just tell you, you told me. I like to thank the Lord again on today, myself, for um, again just to be among the living again on today. I always like to give God the glory, the praise, and um, also like to be uh, a testimony for eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit is saying unto us in these last days. So I thank the Lord God that we all uh, come to be a witness for Christ. So I just want to thank the Lord God again on today for allowing me to be among the living. You know, because I do attend a lot of funerals. You know, go to see a lot of the sick shut-in. And even have to visit a lot of the grave sites. So I thank the Lord God uh, for allowing, you know, me to be this working vessel, you know, for whatever short period of time it's gonna be. Uh, we thank the Lord, but we all be ready and prepared to go to meet our maker. Thank you. So we thank the Lord God again at the day right here to get from God worship center. Nowhere else I would be than to be in the presence of God. Come on now. Ain't on this Amen. earth. No roller coaster, no cruise ship, no plane flight ticket. Nowhere else that I'd rather be when it's time to give God his glory. Yeah. So I thank the Lord God again for allowing me to have the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and just the breath of life to be able to do so with my mouth say. So I thank him in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you want to know where I'm going, where I'm going soon, if anybody asks you.
that your grace is sufficient, and we thank you, God, that your mercies are brand new every day. Father, we lift you up this morning. We magnify your name, God. We thank you, God, for giving us the activity of our limbs on today, God. We thank you, God, for all the provisions that you've made, God. 
We thank you, God, for giving us food on our table, shoes on our feet, clothes on our backs, God. And Father, we thank you for transportation. We thank you, God, for shelter, God. We thank you, God, for every way that you have made, God. And Father, we know, God, that if you've done it before, you can do it again in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift you up and we magnify you. We pray for healing in our bodies, God. We pray for strength in our minds, God. We pray, God, that you, God, continue to dwell in us, God. For you said, God, in your word that greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world, God. So, Father, we ask that you help us to feed your spirit, God. Help us to pray, God. Help us to read your word, God. Help us to gain knowledge and wisdom, God. But, Father, we thank you that in your word you said in all you get to get understanding. So, Father, help us to get understanding on today, God. Help us to begin to lift up our voices and praise your most holy name, God. For every step that we make, God, everything that we do, every encounter that we have, God. We thank you, God, that we shall lift up our voices in praise, God. Father, you said in your word that everything that has breath, praise ye the Lord. So, Father, we thank you that we're able to lift you up today, that we're able to magnify your name, God, that your spirit rests, rules, and abide in us henceforth and forevermore. Father, we pray for those in homes in their sick bed, God. We pray for the homeless on the street, God. We pray, God, for those who are sick in their bodies. And Father, we pray right now that from the crown of their heads down to the sole of their feet, that the blood can cast it all out in the name of Jesus. Create in them a clean heart, God, and renew them a right spirit in the name of Jesus. Change their minds, O oh Lord. Change their hearts, O oh Lord. Father, you can see, God, what we see with our naked eyes, God. For every face that we show you, God, change their minds. Change their hearts. Renew them a right spirit, God. And Father, we thank you. Because we know that you're able to do and see above anything that we could ask or thank you. So we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 All right, we give the Lord continue thanks, praise, and honor. And the next voice you're going to hear is going to be from my pastor who is ready to bring forth what thus says the Lord. As the Lord allows him to decrease so that he may increase in him to speak through his mouth and think through his mind that he may bring forth what thus says the Lord. Let's give pastor a hand clap of praise as he comes forth. Bless the Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So we thank the Lord God for everyone that he has assembled here today. 
Not only that, we thank the Lord God for allowing them to choose yes. to come here to the gift of God worship center. And we also thank the Lord God for those that choose. You know, here to give from God worship center, we like what? Words. Words. So we thank the Lord God for those that have chosen to watch our videos. The words. The words <laughs> of Christ. Praise God. So we thank the Lord God again for all that He has done. And um, uh, before we get started, um, that scripture that um, Pastor Lynn read, what was that scripture? Romans 8. Look at that again, please, real Wrong quick. Let's look at that real quickly before we get into um, before we get into the lesson on today. And today we we talking about what we doing today. A lesson on what a miracle robbing its citizens. A miracle robbing its citizens on today. So we thank the Lord God for all that he has done, all that he will do. You're not going to be able to turn to all the scriptures because going to go so fast today. Uh, uh, praise, praise the Lord. Lord. We're just going to write them down then, huh, Pastor? Just write them down. Your Keep them in your mind, your heart, soul, and spirit. All right, so it was a couple of verses in there that's going to be dealing with our lesson on today. Uh, a miracle is robbing its citizens. So just read it quickly again, please. Romans. And I know people, you know, a lot of times people go back and watch videos, but uh, here at the Gift from Lock God Worship Center, we want you to zone in. I'm Anything sorry. anybody say here, if you're watching our videos, you need to zone in. You need to be, uh, sometimes you have to do what? Don't have a football game playing while you watch the scripture. Mm -hmm. Don't be trying to cook. You need to worship in the spirit. You need to what? Zone in. Zone in. You need to zone in on God. Now your mind on Christ. Praise the Lord. Just read it quickly, real quick. Romans 8 and 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Okay, that's good enough for me. So the suffering that you're gonna have to deal with here at the end of the age here in the U.S. as you are punished. As you are punished for being here. You hear the U.S. You're trying to fight to get to this land where well, you come in here to get what punished. We're gonna punish you just for being here in the U.S. But as you being punished here, there's a greater glory for you if we say what as pre-K what if you make it to the other side. So um, on today, we're going to uh, jump right into our lesson because we're going to try to pick right back up where we left off last time. So we're going to go to uh, Isaiah. We covered a little bit of this last time. We changed the message from uh, the one world order. We changed from the one world order to a miracle robbing its citizens. And I know a lot of times you might go on the internet and you might search for things like this and sometimes you might not find them because some messages is hard. Some messages are hard for people to carry or to bold. Some are too what? Bold. For you to try to go forward with until you hear what? Another minister bring it forth. After you hear another minister bring it forth, it gives you what? Confidence. 
and give you confidence in speaking against that which is evil. You start speaking against that which is what? Not right. But sometimes you need a little confidence. It's not that you don't already have the confidence. It's not that you don't have the confidence. You just need to know that you think of that you Elisha and the Lord saying, no, you ain't by yourself. You're not the only one. So sometimes you might think that you carry these messages alone. Yeah. Because sometimes a lot of these topics is like Daniel, Meshach, and um, Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Yeah, they had the hard task when they had to stand against King. When they had to stand against the King. And the King, most of us don't get to see the King today. Today for us would be a precedent. So to have the confidence and the boldness to speak about the Most High God in the presence of Pharaoh, mm -hmm. in the presence of a king, yeah. in the presence of a high authority. So sometimes um, the, the Lord talked about the scripture where you have to speak truth to what? Power. Truth to power. You have to speak truth to power. And sometimes these things get a little hard for you. You got to watch your if you are what called or if you are what a soldier for Christ you gotta be a soldier for Christ if I was in the military and I go overseas I'm sent by my commander or whoever and I have to greet uh, Saddam I would say, um, how you doing, sir? I'm um, Pastor John from the Gift of God Worship Center in Alberta, Virginia. But I'm here today representing the uh, United States of America military. I'm going to let you know first, because the first thing you want to hear is what? Who my God is. Because that's going to let you know whether you want to go against my what? Kingdom. They first want to announce who their what? God is. Yes, who you serve. Yeah. That's why after uh, uh, Meshach, Shedrach, and Abednego, and Daniel all uh, come out of the fiery furnace, the king said, there's no other God. He said, there's no other, he ain't talking about no kingdom no more. That's right. I don't care about your president, your leader, your group. He said, there's no other God that can deliver on this man. So I go anywhere, I represent what? Christ. All over the earth, all over the nation, anywhere I travel, anywhere I go, I'm letting folks know I'm a what? Christian. I care who you are. I don't care how much you hate Christian or hate Christianity. When I come up, I'm a what? Christian and what bold and what planted like a tree and what on what movable in Christ. All right, so we're gonna jump to this lesson real quickly. We got a long way to go. I don't know if we're gonna make it there today, but we got a long way to go, and these messages is getting long. I think we're going to have to do a third service. We'll have to open up on Tuesday or Wednesday. So we'll have Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And then we we'll probably have to open up a fourth part. But we got to push towards the what? The model of the high call of God to push towards what? Daily worship. Daily worship. Feel like you get up and go to work. Daily worship to God. Um, I hear mom back there sometimes reading what daily worship. Reading what daily, daily service. 
daily acknowledgments, daily worship, seeking the Lord's face when? Amen. Daily, not on Sunday, on Thursday night, Wednesday night, Bible. So how you serving, how you searching for them? Daily. It's called a gift from God and the Spirit of God. All right, so we're going to jump down here to, uh, I know where I'm going. We're going to jump right on down here to my friend, Isaiah. I'm going to jump to my friend, Isaiah. And Isaiah is going to take us to chapter 42. Isaiah 42. Now I'm going to try to get that with y'all today and try to follow along myself. Mm -hmm. Try to follow along with y'all today. Because sometimes I'm just in the spirit, faith coming back here. here, here. Right. I'm just following you. I'm going to try to look today. And I'm going to try to hear with my eyes. I'm going to hear with my eyes. And I'm seeing with my ears. I'm not going to tell you how to do that yet. All right, 42 verse 1. And of course on the day we're still talking about being robbed. Here in the USA. Being what? Robbed. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 1. Behold my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. Uh -huh. I have put my spirit upon him. Uh -huh. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall bring forth what? Judgment. Judgments to the Gentiles. Read it one more time for me. Verse 1. Behold my servant, whom I uphold. Whom read, he said. In whom is my what? Behold my what? Behold my servant. Behold my servants. You want to what? Zone in now. You want to zone in now because you need to find out who is his servant. Who is his messenger? Keep going, Mr. Verse 1. Behold my servant. Whom I uphold, uh -huh. mine elect, uh -huh. in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. Uh -huh. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He said, He what? He what? Shall. shall. So don't be mad at me mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. time to time. Mm -hmm. Don't be what? Mad what? Me. Because I'm his what? Sir. Servant. I want you to become a servant of Christ. You are led of the Holy Ghost. Because he did what? He leads God. Be what? Be not mad with his servant on today. And that's why I said with the sideline spectators, you got to be careful when you go back and read scripture and you try to dominate what you think these scriptures are saying. Because these scriptures are a lie. These scriptures are living words. So they might tell you one thing, tell somebody something totally different. I look at the scripture right here, right now, and see nothing but what? Christ. I look at the scripture again, and I see what? The servant of Christ. In what? The same statement. Keep going. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 2. He shall not cry, uh -huh. nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. Uh -huh. Verse 3. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. Uh -huh. Verse 4. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he have set judgment in the earth. Uh -huh. And the owl shall wait for his law. He shall not fail, nor be what? Discouraged. Who is that? You. Who is that? Christ. 
So you got to be careful when you're saying when somebody going back trying to be a sideline spectator because you got to watch the levers of Scripture. Scripture is put in what we call uh, a cake. Mm -hmm. Scripture is like a cake. Mm -hmm. It's got what? Multiple levels. So you can read what you see in and then sometimes people might take a word here and um, that's why we always say to you, uh, when you pray and pray in the spirit, when you're seeking God, worship God in spirit so that the Holy Ghost would re what? give you the revelation and reveal yes. what you read. Because if you don't, he'll give you bits and pieces. Amen. He'll give you dust for your thorn in your flesh so somebody else can come back and do what? Correct you. But they only corrected you because you used the word what? Pride. Mm -hmm. You were reading the scripture with what? Pride. Mm -hmm. So he gave you the first level and somebody else came back because you had the pride and the boldness because of the level of understanding and knowledge that the Lord gave you. You forgot about the what? The thorn one. You forgot you had a thorn one. Mm -hmm. You forgot about your thorn one. And the Lord trying to keep you from what? Boasting. Let us keep going. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 5. Thus saith God the Lord, uh -huh. that he created the heavens and stretched them out, and he spread forth the earth, and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk therein. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Thus says God the what? The Lord. Lord. So that's why you tell some ministers, they might say, we don't believe in what? Titles. We don't believe in Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. We don't believe in what? Titles. But anytime you get into the word of God, you lay it on the spirit because you're in what? Humbleness of spirit. You start knowing that his name Things that other people might see that they call titles, you in the spirit because you dealt with the second level of the cake. You made it to the second level of the cake. You know now that these things that they call titles, you see them as what? Names. You don't see titles in the spirit. You see what? Names. So now he's saying, My the God, the Lord is my what? Name. He said, This is my, it's not just saying the Lord Jesus. I'm not saying the Lord Jesus. I'm saying his what? Yeah. Name. So Jesus, we said Jesus because sometimes you can say what? Emmanuel. And Emmanuel means what? God, God, with, us. God with us. And Jesus means what? He has come to save his people. And Lord means what? He what? He is your God. He is your what? Lord. I'm going to get into all that today because I, I ain't got that with, in the spirit on that part. We did that part last time about the Lord, how Christ is your Lord. If he become your Lord, then he's the ruler of your lifestyle. If he is your Lord, then certain things you don't do because he become your Lord, not just somebody you call in Christ or somebody you call in Jesus. He becomes your what? Lord. He becomes your what? Ruler. He rules over your what? Lifestyle. And if you want some more fear out of it, you look at him as what? God. You want some more fear? You want your bones to stand up? You want your hair to start turning in your back? You call him your what? God. And then when you hear him say, I'm scared because I said what? God. Then I'm what? Afraid. I'm now what? Afraid. Because I knew he came as my Lord and Savior. I know he came to walk among men, 
I know that there is no other name under heaven whereby I must be saved. But now when I call him my Lord, he ruled over me. But the fear come when I say he is my what? My God. God. Now you got the fear of yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Now you got the fear of the Lord. Yeah. Now you can start looking at your fourth, fifth, and sixth level of your cake that you just made. Oh Scary. Acknowledge him through what? The Holy Ghost. Yeah, On oh, today. Lord. Let us keep going. Thank you, Lord. I can feel the Lord. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 6. <clears throat> I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, uh -huh. and will hold thine hand, uh -huh. and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, uh -huh. for a light of the Gentiles. You're going to come and do what? You're going to come and do what? Hold thine hand. You're going to come and hold your hand. Uh. You're going to come and do what? You're going to come and do what? Hold down. And hold your hand. Yes. I like my picture. Mm -hmm. He's going to do what? He's going to come and do what? He's going to come and what? He's going to come and hold your hand. Oh, and as you are prepared for the valley or the shadow of death, he's going to prepare a table for you. And on your way there, to get ready before you sat there, when he pulled your chair out, he was doing what? He was holding your hand. He was holding your hand on today. Once you recognize what you're dealing with. He gonna hold your hand. Now let us get back to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 6. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, uh -huh. and will hold thine hand, uh -huh. and will keep thee, mm -hmm. and give thee for a covenant of the people, uh -huh. for a light of the Gentiles. Uh -huh. Verse 7. To open the blind eyes, uh -huh. to bring out the prisoners from the prison. And then that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Uh huh. He gonna open the eyes. He gonna open your eyes. I said, hold on, God. What you talking about, man? I said, hold on, God. What you talking about? What you saying to me today? He said, I'm gonna open their eyes. Is that four fifth level cake you talk about? I'm going to open their eyes. That reminds me of what Pastor Wayne said a couple weeks back. Uh huh. She said that uh, when the, well, when the, um, the prophet said for his servant, for God to open the eyes of his servant, uh -huh. and he could see the host of heaven, uh -huh. that there was more with him than there are. With them. There right. was more with us. There was with them. With them. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Praise Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I said, hold on, God. I'm like, hold up, God. What is you talking about? It's up on open their eyes. Scare I looked up the phone. I said, God, the eyes already open. It's like going to open their eyes. I remember that time I was here and I wanted to leave Lawrenceville and uh, the Lord had brought back to me the valley of dry bones. Mm -hmm. I was going to leave them, go into a lot of can. I ain't staying with Brother D for He said, well, can these dead bones live? I said, what? I said, down the west side. <laughs> what the word say? I ain't saying nothing. What the word say? I don't know what the word I say. I don't know. I don't know. I said, down the west side. You know God. You know God. That's right. You know God. I keep my mouth shut. 
When you come and pray with God, keep your mouth shut up. <laughs> when you come and pray, you talk about your law. I'm talking about when you come in the presence of God, you keep your mouth shut. <laughs> you keep your mouth shut. I said, God, now no, I'm like, I ain't got nothing to say about that. <laughs> I'm still here 15 years later. I'm still here, Alabama. Oh my God, you still with me. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> Glory. Glory. I'm that guy, get up out of here. I know these folks don't want to see me in here, Dad. Lord. I said, yeah, get up out of here. He said, can these dead bones live? But look at God. They live in their neck. They live in their neck. Lord, praise him. Praise the Lord today. Praise God. Some bad folks think I'm going to. They talking about John. He said, John at the funeral. I don't be going to no funeral. I be going to no funeral. I got, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. Well, I should be. I ain't going to your funeral. Just be going to no funeral. I'm for God already. You're trying I'm to bring some more in the fold. Because that's the only got, time they go. I got a whole lot of when I go. That's right. That's the only time they go. I looked at that thing one time, and the Lord said, oh, he got the keys. Oh, I said, Lord, what are you talking about? Oh, he said, I got God. the keys. Oh, my God. I said, huh? I said, God, how many, how many things you got? You want yeah, yeah. to have? Hey, you got the keys. Yeah. I'm like, huh? Oh, my God. He said, I'm going to open the keys. Wow. He said, I'm going to let the folks out of prayer. I'm like, huh? He's, so he's I, go to the, I go to the funeral. Where you are, you're going to be in He said he got the keys on today. He said he gonna let the folks out the prison. I said, "Huh, God? I said what?" He said, "I'm gonna get. Let me get. I said, "What? Let me get to the grave." Mm. Thank you, God. I said, "Let me get to the grave." Yeah. I woke up in the funeral home. The folks said, "Oh, he come and read the Bible. He come and view that Bible. Trying to come with the keys." Mm. Bless the Lord. Come in the funeral home. Come with the keys in my hand. Mm. Come with the keys. Come with the what? The prayer of the righteous. Can't let about you go. <laughs> All right, go back there in that prayer. Folks already gone, already gone here a long time ago. Lord tried to tell me he had the keys in his hand. And he let the folks out of prayer. I said, okay, I got work to do then. That's right. That's so right. I got work to do. That's right. Both might be down there in the, in the prison looking at me up here on the earth talking about why he prayed on my grave. Why you prayed on my grave? The prayer of the righteous. Yes, Lord. I feel much. Praise the Lord. Keep reading this. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 7. Uh -huh. To open the blind eyes, uh -huh. to bring out the prisoners from the prison, uh -huh. and them that sit in darkness uh -huh. out of the prison house. They sit in the darkness in the prison house. They sit in the darkness. Jesus. They forgot to confess with their yeah. mouth. They forgot to confess with yeah. their yeah. mouth. No. God. I'm scared about it myself. I'm about to buy the hell. 
I got work to do. He said it was in what? Darkness. They was in what? They was well, they were sitting in darkness. They were sitting in darkness. And there was one that came that nobody could open the door. But there was one that had the what? Keys. There was one, one whole lot of folks. They said, how many were? It was what? One. One. They had the keys. Because there was what? There was well. They didn't confess with their mouth. There was what? They were sitting in darkness. So that's what we have to continue to what? Press. Towards the what? The mark. Or the high calling. Of God. Yeah, nobody got time to be sitting in darkness. <laughs> the high calling of God. Yes. On today. Can't be sitting nowhere. Their eyes was blind. And they didn't realize that they was in the darkness. Uh huh. Scary. The millions of folks that I see that I come in contact sitting in Dark. darkness. They were sitting in darkness on today. Scary. Making no effort. Making no effort. We still here to do the work of the Lord, though. As we are being what? Led. As we are being guided. He said in verse one, behold. He said what? Be what? Behold. Behold. My servant. Scary. He said behold. Look at him. Behold. My servant. If any man come after me, let him first deny himself. Pick up his cross and what? Follow me. Scary. Give me one more minute, folks. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8. I am the Lord. That is my name. Uh -huh. And my glory will I not give to another. Uh -huh. Neither my praise to graven images. Neither my praise. Neither my praise. Careful. You gotta be what? Careful. Neither my praise. You just got a lump sum of money. Neither my praise. You just hit the lottery, neither my praise. You got your new car, uh-uh, uh-uh, shut it down. Yeah. Neither my praise on today. You just got a new house, okay, uh-uh, don't do it. Neither my praise. You just retired, huh? Okay. You got your 401k, you just paid you out, okay. <laughs> Neither my praise Give it all to, God. to a graven image. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Neither my praise. Careful. You're dealing with what? God. That's all right? Yeah. Keep going. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 42, verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Uh -huh. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Uh -huh. 
Verse 10, sing unto the Lord a new song, uh -huh. and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea, and all that is therein, the isles, and the inhabitants thereof. Verse 11, let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice. Uh -huh. The villages that Kedar doth inhabit, let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let them shout uh -huh. from the top of the mountains. Amen. Praise Amen. Keep going. Verse 12. Let them give glory unto the Lord uh -huh. and declare his praise in the islands. Verse 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. Uh -huh. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. Verse 14, I have long time holding my peace. Uh -huh. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. Uh -huh. I will destroy and devour at once. Verse 19, Verse 19 who is blind uh -huh. but my servant? Who is what? Blind but my servant. Who is what? Blind but my servant. Who is blind? Who is blind? Am I blind? I'm the servant. Am I blind? Keep going, Mr. Verse 19. Who is blind uh -huh. but my servant? Uh -huh. Or deaf as my messenger that I sent? Uh -huh. Who is blind as he that is perfect? Uh -huh. And blind as the Lord's servant? Uh -huh. Who is blind? I'm just talking about somebody about that the other day. About all of the stuff that we try to gather in this earth. All the accomplishments we try to accomplish. I have become what? Blind. I'm blind to it. Why? When you become blind to it, don't become what? Important. You are what? Blind to it. I can't see it. I can see it, but I'm blind to it. I hear the excitement of it. I hear it, but I don't hear. I'm not what? Excited about it. Almost like immune. Huh? Like it being immune. Yeah, it's like something happens. So I used to pray for a certain minister to have certain things because of their relationship with God and the Lord was saying well the thing that you think that they need to have or you think that they should uh, gather for their righteousness they don't even want no more the thing that you see that you think that they should have they don't even want no more they what? blind they have been what? blinded so that's why I tell people all the time you talk to me, a lot of stuff that makes no sense to me. It makes sense to everybody else. 10,000 folks will agree with you. Take your mind and put it forward. Okay, what is to make? Blindness. I'm blind to it. I don't see, I don't understand, it don't make sense to me. Because it's going to take me right back to you, please, and act with all this what? Vain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all what? Vain. I'm what? Blind. Because your desire is for the things of God. For the things of God. I'm what? The world, the things of the world, I'm what? Blind. Revelations 18 to 4. I've been what? Blinded. I receive. <laughs> and the Lord looked at you in the world, these things of the world. He'll give you things because he knows you what? Blind. Look at 1 Corinthians real quick, 318 real quick. Because you what? Blind. They have eyes but see not. They have ears but they hear not. Why? Because they are not what? Blind. They're not blinded yet. When your mind on Christ, the things of the world, you are what? Blind. 
If I want to dress you up, take you out to the football game, why are you going? Because you what? Blind. You can't, the, the excitement they got for, they jumping up and there at the game, they both just walk. You be like, what's going on? Why do you see that? Because you what? Blind. <laughs> you couldn't even see what they saw. The excitement they had for the team win, you couldn't even see it because you blind. You said that with your eye closed, your eye open, you what? Blind the toe at. Couldn't even see it. Say the word, they be like, hey, they went on a jaw, hey, look up, said, no, they went on, hey, hey. <laughs> he said, look at him, said, no, that's too old, minister, all, uh, all holy, and everything, went right on, hey, hey. Look at him, don't y'all, don't y'all invite him back here again. No, we are here shouting, drink. his name went right on, hey, hey. Don't y'all see him back on here no more. He said, it looking like a fool, he blind. Couldn't even see what happened. Oh, y'all pay him more here no more. He messed up my, my joy. <laughs> so, uh, First Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. Uh-huh. Let, let me get, no man. Let me get there first. 1 Corinthians 3, 18. Where we at? Let me get there real quick. Okay, go ahead. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse uh -huh. 18. Let no man deceive himself. Uh -huh. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, seemeth to be what? Wise in this world, uh -huh. let him become a fool. Let him become what? A fool. If you think you wise, if you think you wise in this world, you need to be what? Blind. If you think you got together, you think you got some kind of power, you need to be what? Blind. blind. You need to be blind that you might be what? Wise. Because the things of the world, the things of man, the things of man is what to God? Foolishness. Can you read it? 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. Uh -huh. Let no man deceive himself. Uh -huh. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. Uh -huh. If any man think that he is not blind, he need to be caught blind so that he can what? See. If you think you're not blind, you need to be caught blind so that you can what? See. I don't know how it's playing it all out. It's, it's done of the what? Spirit. It's done of the spirit. That a man might become a fool. That he might be wise. So if you think you wise, the Lord said no. You need to become a fool for Christ. That you might be wise. You have to become a fool for Christ that you might be wise. Keep it. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19. Uh -huh. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. That's why everything I see in this world now, I think it's a what? Joke. Everything I see, I think it's a joke. Why? Because my eyes was blind. Even when a person tried to tell me how we came out slave, I'm what? Blind. They said they're going to let the white, they're going to let, uh, they try to tell me that one time they won't let uh, black folks read the Bible. Or they try to keep us from reading. I did not what agree. Because the first thing come to me if they try to say to me that uh and slavery to try to keep the folk from reading, I don't even look at slavery. I gotta go back to I gotta go back way back past that. I gotta go all the way back here and try to figure out how these folk wrote books and stuff. Way before America came about, 
So how could they write these books and do all this stuff with full capital from read this stuff way before the United States? So that's why I don't believe everything. You got to become a fool that you might be wise. Any more we need on there before we go back? Mm -hmm. First, uh, first Corinthians chapter three, verse twenty. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Uh -huh. Verse twenty-one. Therefore, let no man glory in men, uh -huh. for all things are yours. Uh -huh. Verse twenty-two. Whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours. Uh -huh. Verse twenty-three. And ye are Christ, uh -huh. and Christ is God's. Amen. All right, so we're going to conclude for us today. I didn't get to go through all of the stuff I wanted to get to today, so it's going to be a long lesson for us. Um, as we are being robbed here in the U.S., and as I get down a little bit deeper into my details, you're going to see why you are being robbed in the U.S. because of your uh, falling away. I'm going to call it your falling away from Christ. You fail out of grace. The people has fallen from grace here in the U.S. And then you're going to come up under those one world government. And you're going to do everything they say do. You're going to follow everything they say follow. But there's going to be a few servants, according to Daniel, that's going to do what? Instruct what? Men. We're going to instruct men as we go through the valley called the shadow of them. Amen. Amen. All right, let me, let me make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I still got a whole bunch of time. Well, I, I ain't going to make it all today, but anyway, we'll come back. We'll pick up some more tomorrow. Well, Friday. I need to get another lesson in. So I don't have to go so long. I got so much stuff. I'm getting bagged up. I'm getting bagged up with messages. The Lord keep pounding them. Something about to happen. Lord pass the messages up so something about to happen. Don't know what. But it don't look good. We in end time. Don't they look good in time. Anything can happen. But right now we know that countries are paying for war. Mm -hmm. Every country, every man, everybody pay, paying for war. Everybody trying to decide who gonna do what? Strike first. And it's gonna be North Korea, Russia, China, the US or whoever, everybody's preparing and if they can happen now in what? One hour, we're in that season now. Things can happen what? Fast. And pray be to God, because yes, you're getting the what? The word here at the gift of God worship center, that if a lot perish, we know that the Lord has the keys. If they pass in a moment and a twinkling of an eye, we know that God got the keys. So our assignment here at the Gift from God Worship Center is to go down with the what? With the prayer of the righteous. That their prayer availeth much. So we thank the Lord God for being led of his Holy Ghost Spirit. You, and we continue to press forward with his what? Word on today. So we thank the Lord God for all that he has done, all he will do. All right, so Minister, y'all go ahead and, and close us out. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Lord God, we thank you. We bless you. We praise you, Lord God. We thank you for bringing forth your word, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that we were able to receive and understand that we may become fools, Lord, that we may gain wisdom. So we thank you, Lord God, for all our getting, Lord. Help us to continue to get your understanding. Thank you, Lord God, for your continued revelations. 
Lord God, we ask you right now that you will continue to bless this ministry in the body of Christ, Lord God, and we thank you for your provision. We thank you for the offering that we are taking up on today, Lord God. We ask that it will go forth and not return void, that every hand and heart and mind that had to give may be blessed, Lord God, as well as those that had not. We thank you, Lord God, for all you do, all you've done, all you will continue to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise. Oh, Father, we thank you for the word that has come forth today. You, we bless you. We worship you. you we God. honor you, God. We thank you that the word today has, has fallen on good ground, God. And we thank you, God, that you continue to lift us up, continue to give us strength, God, in, in this old evil world, God. Praise. We thank you, God, that you continue to open our blinded eyes in the name of Jesus, that we may be able to, to look and see uh, that you, God, have already charged your angels to go before us, God, like leading lambs and come behind us like protecting angels in the name of Jesus. Thank you for everything that you keep us from, God, in the name of Jesus, from the seen and the unseen. Uh, we, we bless you, God. We, we worship you. We lift up your name, God. We follow. They, they said if we had a thousand tongues, God, we could not thank you enough for everything that you've done, God. So we continue to lift you up, God. We continue to thank you, God, for binding us together in unity, God. As we stand here, God, we know that the blood of Jesus is what holds, the, holds us together, God. But we thank you. We give you a special prayer, God, because we know that the blood that keeps us together is really the blood of our family, God. And we thank you for that blood that is that is is, is twined together with the blood of Jesus, God. And we know, God, that you said that three-strand cord, God, is all too hard to break in the name of Jesus. So we thank you right now, God, that you continue to bind us together in unity. And, and God, but everything that we ever could hope to be, God, we know that it's all wrapped up in you, in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we bless you, God, that you continue to show our feet, God, where it's to go, in the name of Jesus. We thank you that you said that every place that our feet tread, God, that we shall take the land, in the name of Jesus. So we thank you for the power that you give to us as your children, God. Help us to see your glory, God. Help us, God, when we need to just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord in the name of Jesus, God. But, Father, we thank you that you continue to teach our hands to war, God, as we continue to press towards the mark of the high calling of Christ Jesus. Help us to be more than conquerors in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we bless you. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the one only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.